Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Horrifying overnight ambush: ICE agents and their kids in emergency situation. Americans behind it. The battle to secure the southern border of the United States rages on as illegal aliens attempt to exploit every avenue available to invade this country. The left created a significant degree of controversy claiming children are being ripped from their parents' arms by Borders and Customs Patrol. Meanwhile, ICE agents are now being targeted in the wake of the Trump administration's decision to adhere to a zero-tolerance policy and prosecute everyone that chooses to cross the border illegally. This has resulted in the separation of families. QFO outrage. The leftist progressives have pulled out all the stops from crocodile tears to full-fledged Twitter tirades as they proclaim to one and all just how very much they care about families being separated. Except, if they were truly as outraged on behalf of these children as they claim to be then why have they done their level best to destroy the nuclear family in America? These people have pushed everything from welfare dependency, the school-to-prison pipeline, mandatory minimums, the so-called war on drugs, the so-called war on poverty gender-bending norms, eugenics and abortion on demand, feminism, the war on men and boys, indoctrination, the villainization of everything good and wholesome, among other things. Yet we are supposed to believe they care about children, spare me. Now the Occupy Wall Street movement has joined the fray, publishing a cartoon on Twitter promoting the murder of ICE enforcement agents. Occupy Wall Street is an anti-capitalism protest movement launched in New York City's financial district in 2011. The post features a CPR infographic altered to include step-by-step -step instructions on how to murder ICE agents with a caption over the picture stating, what to do if you encounter an ICE agent. One of the instructions reads, grab the ICE agent from behind and push your knife into his chest with an upward thrust, breaking through his sternum. The group later deleted the post and attempted to dismiss the severity of the post by suggesting it was merely satire. They claimed everyone else just simply misunderstood. Adding to the madness and the personal attacks, Oscar-nominated actor Peter Fonda, the brother of anti-American Jane Hanoi Fonda, chose to personally attack 11-year-old Barron Trump via social media in a violent Twitter tirade expressing his extreme displeasure regarding the Trump administration's policies on illegal immigration. Some of those tweets have now been deleted by screenshots are available of their previous existence. We should RIP Baron Trump from his mother's arms and put him in a cage with pedophiles and see if Mother Will will stand up against the giant asshole she is married to," Fonda tweeted early Wednesday morning. Antifa also posted ICE employees' personal information on the Internet. The spokesperson for the First Lady Stephanie Grisham states that the Secret Service has been notified of the threat. The tweet is sick and irresponsible and USSS has been notified, Grisham said. Fonda did not stop with 12-year-old Baron either. He went on in a second tweet calling on a mob of 90 million to surround schools attended by the children of ICE agents in order to scare the shit out of them and worry the fuck out of the agents and to make their children worry. He tweeted, Sounds great. We don't have to take the agents' kids, we only need to surround their schools from CBE ICE and regular Border Patrol agents. We need to scare the fuck out of them. Need to make their children worry now. In yet another tweet. Fonda called for the public caging and RE of Department of Homeland Security Secretary Christian Nielsen. In the vulgar tweet, Fonda states, Christian Nielsen is a lying gash that should be put in a cage and poked at by passers-by. The gash should be pilloried in Lafayette Square naked and whipped by passers-by while being filmed for posterity. And in yet a fourth tweet, Fonda apparently was not done spewing his hatred and vitriol for all to see. Fonda then proposed that White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders' three children get kidnapped and locked in a basement while calling her a sexist slur. S.S., Sarah Sanders, is a lying gash, too and gash is much worse than cunt. Maybe we should take her children away and deport her to Arkansas, and giving her children to Stephen Goebbels Miller for safekeeping. Fonda's call to strip Nielsen naked and publicly whip her was cheered on by Nancy Sinatra, daughter of the late Frank Sinatra Dash. Other Hollywood deviants expressed their approval at Fonda's advocacy for violence and mayhem and personal attacks against children. These are the very same people that claim to be up in arms about children in the first place mind you. Sony Pictures is releasing a movie starring Fonda in a matter of days called Boundaries. Seems like it might be time for a little boycott? Interestingly enough a good faith search of Fonda's Twitter account and prior statements reveal no record whatsoever him protesting former President Barack Obama and the unaccompanied minor crisis or separating border children. Yet the Obama administration prosecuted approximately half a million adults for illegally crossing the U.S.-Mexico border between the fiscal year of 2010 and the fiscal year of 2016, according to data from the Department of Homeland Security.
The prosecutions include both illegal immigrant violators of Title VIII of the U.S. Code 1325 and 1326 used to penalize first-time and multiple offenders respectively. The DHS data further shows that the Obama administration referred on average one out of five adults apprehended at the border for a criminal prosecution. Even the New York Times acknowledged the truth of these facts in an article dated July 7, 2014, that this policy was signed into law by previous presidential administrations. President Trump is merely enforcing the law. Customs and Border Patrol agents have stated numerous times that the current issue was created due to the refusal of previous administrations to simply enforce current immigration laws. The Neat Report Stash It was one of the final pieces of legislation signed into law by President George W. Bush, a measure that passed without controversy, along with a pension bill and another one calling for national parks to be commemorated on quarters. This is a piece of legislation we're very proud to sign. A White House spokesman, Tony Fratto, told reporters on December 23, 2008, as the president put his pen to the William Wilberforce Trafficking Victims Protection Reauthorization Act of 2008, named for a 19th-century British abolitionist. This program has been very effective around the world in trying to stop trafficking in persons. Now the legislation, enacted quietly during the transition to the Obama administration, is at the root of the potentially calamitous flow of unaccompanied minors to the nation's southern border. The Trump family naturally rallied around Barron to show support. Don Jr. was not playing around when he responded to Fonda's attempts to bully an 11-year-old. Don Jr. tweets, You're clearly a sick individual and everyone is an internet badass but rather than attack an 11-year-old like a bully and a coward why don't you pick on someone a bit bigger? LMK. It is funny that the very people that claim to be advocating for families and children repeated pick families and children to target for violence and intimidation. Is this what they meant when they proclaimed? When they go low, we go high or love Trump's hate. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.